in life and in football. We long to be remembered. We fantasize about leaving a legacy. Let's go be champions! Since Nick Saban secured his first SEC title at Alabama in 2009. SEC champion, Crimson Tide. A tremendous program. This ain't going to stop soon. The Crimson Tide has become the gold standard in our sport. You're the best in the world. Time to make more room in the trophy case. And this year's team is fighting to reclaim its crown. Baby, we built this house It's a lot that goes with wearing the age. When I see the trophies, I just think about greatness. Think about the guys that came before me. I want to be remembered as a champion, a winner. But sometimes, no matter how much you may resist, the torch is ready to be passed. And when that moment comes, you better be ready to run with it. Once an apprentice, Kirby Smart is now a master. Since losing to his former boss in the 2021 SEC Championship game, this Georgia juggernaut has been perfection personified. Back-to-back -back Nats, 29 straight wins. But these dogs are hungry for more. why we all came here to win championships to chase those trophies to everything i've ever dreamed of i want to be remembered as one of the most winning programs in college football and i'm gonna wear this g with pride we know this doesn't last forever it's true what they say eventually all good things must come to an end but the best part about memories is that they last a lifetime One final time. It's the SEC Championship game on CBS. And with that, we bring you to the House of Memories one more time on CBS. Welcome to the SEC Championship on CBS, presented by Dr. Pepper. And our matchup, two heavyweights, yet again. The number one team in the country, the Georgia Bulldogs. The eighth-ranked Crimson Tide of Alabama. One unbeaten, one with only one loss on their season. It's a packed house. There's a lot of red and black and a lot of crimson and cream in here. Welcome, everybody. I'm Brad Nussler. My partner's Gary Danielson, Jenny Dell down on the sidelines. Well, partner, everybody wants to win a conference championship when the season begins. You get to this point, you go, okay, it's right there in our grasp. But when these two teams, these two programs get together, it's bigger than that. It really is. Every SEC championship that I've ever done, the last 17, the winner of this game got in the playoffs. I assume that's going to happen today. But the stakes seem so much higher. Alabama, with their record, six championships under Nick, national championship under Nick Saban. And how about Georgia? They're going for college football immortality. I know it's a half century ago, but it's like Ali and Frazier's trilogy yeah, a little bit. I, I think one of the funnest things we've had to be part of this year is the maturation of the two quarterbacks, Jalen Milrow and Carson Beck. I think you're 100% right. Going into this season, the biggest question marks in all of the SEC was who was going to play quarterback for these two franchises? Would they be good enough? Well, they have been good enough. They don't play exactly the same. Carson Beck, the trigger man, kind of stands on pitcher's mound, throws the ball. 
Jalen Milrow after about four games when he found himself he has been almost impossible to stop two of the best most productive quarterbacks in college football one of the best football players in America has been a little bit iffy Brock Bowers hurt in the Vanderbilt game he came back after tightrope surgery in 26 days we watched him warm up he looks like he's ready to go he does I think that he is obviously going to give it all he can in this game two years ago he was amazing against Alabama in this game looked at like McConkie's going to play we'll look at Barra Thomas those are their three best receivers the most productive players in their offense 370 career receptions for those three guys when you talk about players all over the field that could make a difference I don't know they're countless yeah I, I, it could be anybody let's start though with Alabama's pass rush I think they have to do that and they've got a pair number one and number two in the SEC in quarterback pressures Dallas Turner has 50 Chris Braswell has 49 they must be a factor in this football game and I don't see how Alabama could win but Ness you're right the difference in these two football teams is there are great elite football players all over the field and we're going to have the pleasure to watch them. these are the two time defending national champion Georgia Bulldogs here they come.